Hi everyone, how's it going? It is Tim Brown with your trusty Monday morning marketing and coffee hangout here. And today I'm gonna to be talking again, if you didn't join me last time, but I'm gonna be talking about 90 day goals and why I use them, why I think they're important. And I'm even going to give a free template um, that I use to track them for myself. And I think that I think you'll find it useful. So a couple of things about 90 day goals. The results that you want when you have 90 day goals is for each category that's important to you and your life and your business to be represented in your 90 day goals with a weekly goal that corresponds to each of those 90 day goals so that it will move you towards that 90 day goal and you're taking at least some action each week based on that 90 day goal. So if you think of that as an admirable thing, I want to talk about why to set those 90 day goals. So a year is too long. If you're setting yearly goals, you may have noticed, you know, maybe your anticipation for the completion of those, those yearly goals is kind of starting to build. You've got three more months and like seven days left of this year. Um, it's a lot to think about yearly goals because it's so much, so much time. And it's easy to give up in February or to have totally different needs right now than you did in January or in December of last year when you set your yearly goals. So I think 90 goals are kind of that, the smallest possible chunk for something to be a reasonable goal and to be consistent for three months, et cetera, et cetera. So, I really think it's important to set 90 day goals and they're bite sized. They're a little bit more reasonable than yearly goals. So how do you do that? And maybe um, what am I doing to track that stuff? So I would start with one 90 goal that you might have that would excite you. So whether it be run a 5k or, you know, a certain sales goal or, you know, write, 500 words every day, whatever it happens to be, I just start with something that excites you. And obviously you want to set smart goals. Well, maybe that's not obvious to some people, but um, if you don't know what a smart goal is, it's specific. I mean, let me make sure I don't mess this up. Specific, measurable, bound. So you want it to be something that you can't um, be subjective about. So trying to figure out what those numbers are that really will define your success. And I think uh, personal goals, you want them to be in each category of your life that matters to you. So for instance, I break them down into, you know, mental health, fitness, nutrition, relationship, and spirituality. But if you have a goal for each five of your most important categories, and then create a weekly goal to correspond with that. So if this is interesting to you, I'm gonna share this template. Um, and if you're on Instagram, it'll be on our Facebook page. Um, but I'm gonna share below, uh, 90 day goal tracker, I'm gonna pop it in here, one second. Um, I think that for some of you, this is gonna be exactly what you need to track your 90 day goals and your weekly goals related to those. So it may sound mildly complicated, but to me tracking 90 day goals is one of the best ways to get yourself in action. And in particular, don't wait till December to set some big goals. There's three more months in this year and there's a lot to be done yet and there's a lot of um you know opportunity three months it's a long time so 90 days set goals that are reasonable that are achievable and that are specific and uh try to use this template i think honestly some people will find this extremely useful when you uh click this template here it's a uh, sorry excuse me facebook.com slash hook agency to to find this um template for the people on Instagram. When you click this, you just have to say copy. So you can copy it, use the 90 day goal tracker that I've been using 
and um, you essentially plot out what your your uh, monthly goals are at the far right column. So your big 90 day goal, whether you know be for fitness or nutrition or you know your work goals, and then you go to the far left column and come up with a weekly key to that 90 day goal. So something that you can do weekly towards that goal. And then you track your progress by tracking your fulfillment on that weekly key. Um, and then over time, you try to push up your percentage. Um, this this uh, template will give you kind of an average for your personal goals and an average for your work goals. And then it will give, give you a weekly combined total for the two of them. And uh, yeah, I've been using this for myself. It wasn't something that I made for other people, but I've found it really useful. So I just kind of, you know, cut all my stuff out and made this template something you could copy if you're interested. And, you know, if you want a little bit more explanation for me or from me, let me know and I'll try to be of service on it. I think having weekly goals towards your three month goals is one of the, you know, it's one of the most powerful goal setting techniques I've found in the last couple of years. And I hope that you're setting goals and I hope you have goals for your last three months of the year. And um, I hope you guys have a great last three months of the year. And this week, I hope you do a little bit more of something you love and I hope that you have a great day. All right. Bye guys. See ya.